Okay, this video is uh, to share with you something that a client just introduced me to. It's a third-party email app, let's call it. Uh, it's not Apple Mail, it's not Outlook, it's not Gmail, but it integrates with everything, all of those and more, and it's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm doing this video to uh, pretty much, I'm really excited about this, uh, but I'm doing this video to basically show the installation process into Spark so you can start using my email signature designs with Spark, um, especially for us Android people. I'm using this on Android, but it works great on iPhones, iOS devices too, it, and Macs. It's not um, for Windows yet, but I guess they're working on it. But regardless, if you want to send an email signature, an HTML graphic email signature from your smart, smartphone, uh, and you don't use Apple Mail, or the Gmail app on uh, on iOS devices because for some crazy reason it doesn't work on Androids even though Google owns Gmail or that's one of their products. Um, I recommend Spark uh, and I'm gonna show the install process right now. So I sent myself a sample email signature that I had done for another client and I am going to try to copy this. Everything here is pretty much linked. Um, except the name, title, and the disclaimer. If I tap and hold to select all and it's a link, it's going to try to get me to do stuff with that. So you want to tap and hold somewhere that isn't linked. And then it'll give you these options. At least on, and I'm shooting this on Android, but it should be very similar on iOS devices. You iOS, iPhone, and uh, iPad people know know uh, how iOS works much better than I do. I just have that stuff for testing. Um, so I'm doing an and using an Android right now because I'm just more familiar with it. And I just learned about this like seriously five minutes ago. So I am going to tap select all and then copy and then head into the Spark app and tap on the three burgers up here, the burger icon, whatever you call it, tap on settings. And then I already have a Macaulay.com at gmail.com, which is like my main testing account that I have integrated with my, with Apple Mail, iCloud, Outlook, everything. So it, it, it syncs with everything. So I thought this would be the best to um, to, to use as a, as a tester here. So I'm going to tap on signatures. I already have it in here, but I'm going to, I guess you can just swipe and it's gone, which kind of freaks me out because you can do that by accident and you have to do it all over again. Um, but uh, it's, again, super easy. So I'm going to tap on Add Signature. And even though I tried to do this by entering HTML code here, and it worked, but it didn't. So, like, I mean, it looked good, but the spacing and the layout and stuff like that got a little jacked up. So then I tried just going to Text here, and where it says Say Something, I'm going to hold down and then Paste, and I'm done. Uh, you want to make sure that you select the accounts. That's the other cool thing about Spark apparently is that you can add a bunch of signatures and use them, <clears throat> excuse me, use the different signatures depending on what you need to use them for. So you can even have a truncated like little reply signature um, that, which only Outlook really has um, as far as a major email client is concerned instead of your giant awesome email signature that I designed for you. Anyway, so you want to tap the accounts. I only have Macaulay.com at gmail.com um, added here, but yeah, you can probably add it for as many accounts as you have added to the Spark app. Um, so I'm going to tap that and then hit the checkbox up here. And it's installed and it's awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send a test to and it's down here as you can see. It's it's cut off here, which is weird. Um, but uh, I've sent a test and it works just fine. So I'm gonna send a test to my Gmail account to again Macalacom at gmail.com so I can see how it looks in Outlook. Again, this is an Android. Uh, so we're not going to see how it looks in Apple Mail, but Apple Mail's awesome. So I'm sure it looks just green in there. So I'm going to just say Spark Test. And then for whatever I want to say, Lorem Ipsum. Whoops. Dot, dot, dot. And then Send. And let's give it a little bit. Actually, since this is installed... And Spark, it should show up here in a little bit, too. 
There we go. Boom, looks awesome. I did, I do have a lot of spacing there, but I did that when I sent me, sent it to me. So there are like three or four spaces that you can get rid of um, when you do the install. Uh, so it doesn't have to have that big of a gap there. That's just my, my bad, um, just by habit. Uh, so it looks good there. Let's go into the Gmails. Spark test, looks awesome. Again, ignore the huge gap between Lorem Ipsum and the signature. I just added a bunch of spaces on my own there. And then let's head into Outlook. Spark test. I mean, just sweet. Like this, this is better that I used to recommend Aquamail, and I still will um, for, for the Android people. And Aquamail only works on Android. But us Android people, we only have Aquamail pretty much. And there's a hack to get around Gmail. Uh, but this is by far the best. And, and, and email signatures aside, it's my understanding that just the, the CRM and the, um, uh, the customization features of this, this Spark app are just off the charts. So all I've done so far is tested the email signature and it looks, it works awesome. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that and, uh, that, I don't know, really excited about it. So hopefully this helps you all um, that do have, you know, some quirky little setup and you really want to send your email signature um, from your smartphone and you don't want to use Apple Mail or Gmail or whatever for whatever reason, um, or you're an Android person like me, uh, this is just sweet. So that's it. Hopefully this helps. Thank you.